Jiang Shixue joins us for more on President Xi's upcoming state visits to Russia and his uh, trips to Germany for G20. He's a professor at Shanghai University. Welcome, Professor Jiang. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to begin by asking you uh, to comment on the comment made by the Chinese ambassador to Russia. He said the state visit will, quote unquote, inject new impetus to the economic integration of the Eurasian region. Uh, what exactly do you think he meant by that? And what deliverables do you think we can expect from the uh, Putin Xi meeting? Well, uh, yes, I, I certainly believe that uh, uh, President Xi Jinping's trip uh, to Moscow will definitely promote further and further the bilateral relationship between China uh, and also Russia. You know, in the past uh, 28 years, the bilateral relationship between the two sides have been developing very steadily and very smoothly. And between the two sides, we have the so-called comprehensive strategic partnership. And also, we have several other very important treaties. So I will say that, uh, uh, well, as you know, that uh, Moscow is still under the so-called Western section in the economic and the political fields. And uh, I would like to say that uh, China can offer a certain kind of help for Moscow to deal with these kind of sanctions. I would like to, to point out that the economy is still so sluggish. Uh, so I would say that uh, if Moscow wants to, have tr to, uh, to attract foreign investment, then China can make it. If Moscow wants to sell something to China, and we have a big market, if China, uh, so if Moscow wants to buy something, and China can sell them. So I would like to point out that in the near future, particularly after President Xi Jinping's trip to Moscow this time, I would say that there should be more opportunities uh, of cooperation. Uh, particularly in the trade field, I would say there should be more business opportunities. And apart from economic cooperation, I would say there should be cooperation in the strategic security fields. You know, Moscow and Beijing are faced with a certain kind of uh, security threat. So these two sides are members of the G20, member of the BRICS. So there should be more uh, rooms of opportunities for the, side, for the two sides to have more cooperation. Well, Professor Zhang, we know that President Xi will also be traveling to Germany to attend G20, and Beijing in the past has been uh, welcoming the role of G20, which replaced the G8 as a main uh, mediating forum for global trade and coordination of uh, global financial policies. Uh, what do you think uh, President Xi can achieve during his Germany, uh, his German trip? Well, you know, uh, uh, one of the, uh, uh, as the leaders who had who have paid uh, most of the visits to China is German Chancellor Merkel. As far as I can remember, she has been to China eight times. And uh, uh, also uh, Chinese leaders have been visiting Germany many, many times. So this kind of bilateral relationship between the two sides are very good. And also between China and Germany, we have the so-called comprehensive strategic partnership. Now, what do you mean? By saying, uh, uh, by, uh, by saying comprehensive strategic partnership. The former Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao uh, gave this kind of definition. By saying comprehensive, that means the cooperation between Germany and China are inclusive. Uh, high in the sky, down, down on the earth, and deep into the sea, we have cooperation in every field. Now, by saying strategic, that means cooperation between the two sides is not based on ideology, is not based on the differences or of all kinds of mentalities. It's based on uh, uh, so-called always cooperation. There should be uh, no factors that can, can have a negative impact upon the China-German relationship. Now, by saying partnership, that means there should be no confrontation, more consultation, more dialogues, friendship, all kinds of things. So uh, I would say that after President Xi Jinping's trip to Germany, the so-called comprehensive strategic partnership between the two sides will further and further develop. Professor Jiang Shixue from Shanghai University, thank you very much for your insight.